Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Brian Doherty and I am an NetSuite Solutions Consultant for Awesome, an NetSuite Solution Provider based in Dublin. Uh, today I will guide you through NetSuite One World, One World Period Close and Reporting. The video is intended to help existing NetSuite customers to optimize their use of NetSuite One World. Today we will cover One World Period End Routines, including uh, creating intercompany adjustments, revaluation of open foreign currency balances, calculation of consolidated exchange rates, and elimination of intercompany transactions. And then we will follow that with uh, looking at reports from a one world point of view, including the PL by subsidiary, balance sheets by subsidiary, by subsidiary, intercompany eliminations, and intercompany reconciliations. So now on to the software. So if we go into the software and we go to set up accounting and manage accounting periods. So this is where you would do your period end close down. So we will go into our checklist. And the first relevant item within the checklist for eliminations and intercompany is to create intercompany adjustments. So if I go into that, um, this option is used in one world if the automated adjustments for intercompany time and expenses is enabled within the system. Uh, it will enable us, uh, it, this option is enabled to allow employees to enter expenses or timesheets across multiple subsidiaries regardless of the subsidiary that they are attached to. The checklist item allows the user to review any adjustments that have been created. So when we're within that option, we can go and create intercompany adjustments. And this will give us a list of any timesheets or expenses that are, to be, that are being posted across the various subsidiaries. When we click submit, that will create a journal entry, an intercompany journal entry. So we'll go back to close, then we can mark that task as complete. The next item in the list is uh, revalue open foreign currency balances. And this will revalue all foreign currency accounts in the GL, including foreign currency bank accounts and foreign currency balances in AR and AP. Uh, the process should be run for each individual subsidiary, and that's quite important. A journal will be created for any revaluation, and this process can be run multiple times if adjustments are required. And the task must be run by individual subsidiary, as I said before. So if I go into this and I go to revalue, currency revaluation, I can choose the subsidiary I'm doing this for, and I'll choose the Irish entity. I can say save. Now if I go to status, we can see the status of this process. If I go refresh, we can see it's now completed and I can go to the results tab. And if I refresh that, it will give me my revaluation journal. If you have multiple subsidiaries, then you should go back to currency revaluation go to the next subsidiary and save and continue that until all your subsidiaries have been revalued. Results, refresh, and again, we can see that we have a new revaluation for the Dutch entity. And then it can mark that task as complete. The next item, which is uh, calculate consolidation exchange rates. And this option is important when the base currencies of subsidiaries uh, differ from the base currency of the parent company. And calculating the consolidated exchange rate ensures that the subsidiaries are consolidated accurately. So we go to consolidate, calculate consolidated exchange rates, choose to calculate, and that will give us our exchange rates here that will, will be used upon consolidation. Then we can go back uh, and mark this task as complete. 
And the final option is to eliminate intercompany transactions. And this task is available only if you have one world and have enabled the option to eliminate intercompany transactions. Uh, the option creates journal entries within the elimination company to eliminate intercompany transactions between subsidiaries. And again, this option can be run uh, multiple times. If, uh, if you discover that there are any issues at all, you can go back and run it again. So we can go run intercompany eliminations, say save, go to the status, and we can track the status. We can see it's now in progress. I can refresh. And I now can see that it's complete. When I go back to my um, results tab, we can see the journals that have been created for the intercompany eliminations. And then I can mark this task as complete. So that brings me on to reporting. So if I go back to my home page here, and NetSuite provides a single source of data for all subsidiaries within the group. Uh, when a user logs in, they do not uh, they do not log into different companies to enter transactions. They log into one area and they enter transactions uh, within that area. Um, the transactions are instantly consolidated for reporting purposes. And a good way of demonstrating that is by using the subsidiary navigator. So when a user logs into the system, they are presented with a, a series of portlets, depending on what role they have logged in, uh, logged in under. And these portlets will display information that is relevant to their role. So the significant if I look at the subsidiary navigator, if I click on any subsidiary, so I'll click on the Irish subsidiary, and if we look at the portlets, the data will change within each portlet because I'm just getting the data related to the Irish entity. If I change to the Dutch entity, again, the information changes because we're only being given the data relevant to that entity. If I click back on the parent company, the data changes again because we are looking at the data for the group as a whole. So that is a, a very useful tool and all people using one world should be using that tool. So if we now take a look at the reports and again because of what I said uh, with the subsidiary navigator because the data is held in a single database it's possible to generate reports for the group or a single entity. Uh, this el eliminates the need to export data into Excel from multiple sources and create consolidated reports outside of the ERP system. So a couple of examples of those reports, if I go to reports, I go to financials, and I go to balance sheet. When I look at this report, you can see the context that I'm using, which is the group. So the data is for the group as a whole. I can change this to the Irish entity and refresh, and then I'm getting the results for the Irish entity. So if I move it back to the, the group and I go to column. So what I can do is I can choose to split that information out and see the report in tabular format based on the subsidiaries. So we'll choose subsidiary and refresh. And now we get a report that is broken down by subsidiary with a total. One of the subsidiaries that's included here is the elimination subsidiary. And that subsidiary is there solely to look after intercompany transactions and the elimination of those transactions upon consolidation. If I go to reports again, I go to financials and I go to my profit and loss. Similar to the balance sheet report, I can choose to break that down by subsidiary and I refresh. And again, you can see the information broken down instantly by subsidiary. 
the ability to break down reports and the, the consolidation of data isn't just purely on a financial GL basis. It's common across all reporting. So if I go to a simple uh, AR report, so I'm going to go to vendors and payables, I'm going to go to AP aging summary. And if I look at that report, I have the ability to look at what I owe my vendors across all subsidiaries, or I can choose to look by individual subsidiary. In relation to One World and intercompany and eliminations, we have another couple of reports that are useful. So if I go to financials and I go to intercompany reconciliations, um, this report is used uh, to identify any unmatched or un incorrectly matched intercompany transactions. So if there is anything that doesn't look correct, you can just directly go into that transaction from here, correct it, and run the report again. Um, and the last report we'll look at is if I go to reports, financials, and intercompany elimination report. And the intercompany elimination report provides an audit trail um, of any intercompany eliminations for a specified period of time. Now that brings me to the end of my presentation. If you have any questions or queries, get in touch with us uh, using the details below. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.